Hi guys, today I have a sponsored video by Tonic Studios for their brand new uh, Buzzing Beehive Showcase. Super cute as you can see here. Um, so they did some exams free of charge for my review and of course all opinions are my own. Any links I have in the description box will be affiliate links, which means I'll make a small commission if you're a purchase items to those links. So I get samples. Um, this is actually a really nice mock-up of what uh, it would look like, but yours will be uh, packaged uh, differently of course. And um, so again, the Buzzing Beehive House gift box die set. Super Super cute, as you can see, it has the different little um, areas for the boxes. I just think it is so adorable, very beehive looking, uh, even like a beehive like beekeepers use, right? So it has a little lid and everything on each section, really cute. Um, and then look at this with the little treats in there. So lots going on in this showcase, so let's check out the um, dies themselves. So yeah, that gives you some inspo there already, which is really nice to have. And you have your different pieces of course it looks like it's um, a graduated design right where it kind of pyramids up so the larger base and then the smaller and smaller so that's why you have these shapes that we have here so we have the side areas with the inlays uh, or just however you want to use them if you want to pair them up with the background uh, you know background layer plus the inlay so we have little honeycombs and a little bee design Really cute. I love the honeycomb designs. All the different pieces you need, of course, to help you out there. If you want to make it look like a little house, more like you have little windows and like this cute little door. It says, be happy, this inlay. Um, a little bee body. Uh, the uh, flowers. Lots of little flowers you can layer up and it'll be kind of buzzing by there. There's like a little doily kind of edging. And of course, the different bases that you'll need to create your box. So I think the best thing, oh, look at the little <laughs> cute uh, fence thing to do is um, just to get started. So what I'm going to do is uh, grab some papers and we'll create um, our cute little gift box. So I will always grab the sturdiest papers uh, you have to create something like this. Um, 110 pound or like 350 GSM, 300, 350 GSM is always going to be your best bet as far as the box construction. And then of course you can layer it up with whatever you like. Um, just feels sturdier and keeps up over time, you know. So I will be right back. Okay, guys. So again, it's tiered. So we have the smallest one and then like the medium and then like the largest um, is what it looks like. Some of these are paired up a little differently just so they, they fit on the mat here. But um, you can just pay attention to the shapes. And then we have these guys down here. So um, I'll make a two tier box today so we can uh, work on the construction there. And the base one would be if you wanted all three tiers, it's the same construction as the first two. So it's uh, repetitive in that nature. This is the roof. So we'll need the roof. Uh, it does have to make like a little chimney if you're going to do that to make it look like a house. I want mine to look more beehivey. So, um, or yeah, like the box there. So we need the roof lid, one of those. Roof width sides, which are also down here. Sorry. And you need two of that and the roof length side. So this is the roof, two of those. And the difference of what the roof side looks like is that these guys have blue tabs. I don't know if you can see that. These all have blue tabs. Right now we need the one without the glue tab on the edge, just this guy. So this is the roof length side. You need two of those. Uh, base feet, which would be this little guy. If you're going to use feet, unless you want to just leave it flat. Let me see if I can have an example here. Okay, yeah. So see how that's just flat? Or if you want to put little feet on it, we can do that. So we'll do little feet just to have that example too. So you would need um, four of those. And then side straps. It does say four, but I suppose it also depends on how many layers you're doing. So since, hopefully you can see here, you would need one, two, three, four right for the other opposite side. I'm just doing the two layers, so I'm just going to do two of those. That's these guys right here. And these I'm all cutting from this really base heavyweight um, material. And then we're going to need the small and medium tiers. So small, which is this, the first one, the inside one for the small, you need one of those. Um, and then let me just make sure which one of these are the small link sides and the medium because like I said obviously these are larger I would assume those you know and these are more of a medium size but maybe it's this guy so let me just figure out which one of these we need and I'll come back and let you know what that is okay guys I think just by looking at them and seeing what we need because some of them cut um, a little opening like this and that's how you know that's one of the uh, sides right obviously the ones are sides but it's clearly like this one so for the small one I need this guy we need two of this, 
right? Because we need the little slats that the um, little handles are going to go into, or the straps are going to go into. So I guess we'll need two of these guys. And then um, we will need two of this one. So again, this one has that little notch cut, right? And then the other ones are a little bit different. They don't have the notch cut, so I will choose this one. So small, medium, large, small, medium, large is what it looks like. So we need two of this guy to complete the small. Um, and then we also need the small length base tabs and the small width base tabs. So again, with these guys, I'm just going to choose what looks smaller, right? Um, Which to me are both of these guys right here. Let me just see that we have this correct. These two that appear to be smaller, and that works. So it's those two. And I'm just showing you where they are on here so that you orient it right. And then the medium ones. And the medium ones are easy because there are no large ones for this part. So you, you're going to use this guy right here. The next size in, right? There were three. The medium size. We are going to take these guys. We need two of these. Both of these that are left for the medium. And you do need two glue tabs of each of these. So two, two, two. One and one, right? <laughs> and then over here for the medium, we need this guy. Again, two of these. Oopsie. And two of the one right opposite from it. Pop that back. So I'm going to run these things through for our basic pieces. And then we'll come back after the construction and I'll talk about like decorating, okay? So for right now, I'm going to run all these things through and then we'll start assembling. And you guys know I always love to load it up as much as I can to get everything cut uh, quickest. So this is the second pass and I got a new piece of paper and I'm pretty much almost done cutting <laughs> in two passes. It might take three just for the extra little things, um, especially the ones that need like four items, right? Okay. Okay. So I have my pieces here. I did cut something extra for the medium um, because the way they clip into each other, if you want this last one to stay on top of the large one, you're going to need this base piece, but I'm not going to do that because my bottom is the medium um, box. So, But we will add it to the small one so you'll see what that looks like and you would just add it to the medium one. So I did cut a, a couple extra pieces for that that I didn't have to uh, at this point. So uh, I have my little four feet. I'm going to put those to the side. We have our little two straps, so we'll put those to the side. And then our roof pieces. So for right now, just to create the boxes, Again, we have these um, side pieces that help you link the one to the next if you're going to stack them that way, right? So we have our base. And then the other guys, I'm just going to go ahead and score them. Um, generally with scoring, I always score them in towards the rough side of the paper. And, you know, we'll deal with however it might need to be. I think this one's going to be something like this, though, up here so that the lid fits on top. But either way, I'm going to score them all, and then we're just going to glue them down. So again, just give them a good scoring. And let me see how they're recommending. Yeah. So let me score these other two. And that's just for the, uh, for the small base. You do the exact same thing for the medium base, so um, very easy assembly there. And again, we'll need these pieces in just a minute. So let me finish scoring these and then we'll so glue them our on. base. And they're recommending gluing the tabs, you know, this is the nice side of the paper and this is the rough cut side, to glue them on like this. And then of course you're looking at them, as far as the width and everything, they're different. So these two are the wider ones, they're going to go opposite each other. And then these two with a little slit in them are going to go on these other sides opposite each other, right? So I'm just going to take a moment to glue those down. And I always like to put glue right to the edge not so far that it gets on the project. And then I'll bring this over and just really line it up. Just kind of sensing where that edge is. And then I'll look over the side just to make sure again, it's just lined up as nicely as you can on this outside. And I will do that for all of them. I just want to see real quickly if they basically nestle in. Yeah. So you know how you have these little divots here? They nestle in really nicely with each other. So I'll add this one and this one and this one and I'll be right back. I have the medium one put up together just like the small one. And then now we just add our glue tabs here and here, right? So now you can go around and so I'll put glue there and I'll put glue there. And it is, you know, a kind of a pyramiding shape so you want to hold on to it in that way. So I'll hold on to this so that it meets up right there. Clean up some of that glue. 
and then I'll come in and grab this top one, right, so those meet up. But let me let this hold for just a second before I move on. And then this guy and this guy will meet up right at the top. Okay, so again, like I said, it's kind of a pyramid shape, so I'm going to hold these guys together first and then bring this top part together. Okay, all the way around. I'll do the same with the medium base. Okay, I'm here at the last one again. Just a little glue there, a little glue there. And then I'll bring two, these two guys together, holding that little piece, and then I'll bring the tab in. And we have our kind of pyramided shape. Hope we can see it from the side here better. And I'll do the same for the medium one, okay? Just gluing those tabs. We have our little boxes here, and then they're going to nestle over each other. So to get this one to stay on top of this one, there we have their little, um, like, lips. But we'll need this. So for the small box, I did cut the ones for the medium box, but again, I didn't make the largest one at the bottom, so I don't need them. Um, so what I'm going to do is score these guys so the side pieces that we cut. I'm just going to score them in and down. Okay, and I'll so we have those ready to go. And again, it's just a matter of putting the two longer ones on the two longer sides and the two shorter ones. So let's just start with one of oh, one of them and not there. So there's that side, obviously, that's going to be the actual side. I'm going to put on the glue tab that's like divoted here. And just as we did before, you're going to go around, add it right on the end. And this is just going to make that little lip so this will sit on top of your next tier. So I just like to make sure we're pretty straight here. Right around the edge. And once one is solidly in place, I'll grab the other, the small one. And again, they also nestle in so it makes it really nice and easy to find the pretty much the right spot to put that on. So a little glue, add it there. And I'll probably go ahead and use that glue tab too. So since that's setting up now, I'll show you what I mean. A little glue there, a little glue on the outside here. And get this guy nestled in. And I'll still take a peek out here just to make sure it looks nice. And once I think that looks good, I will definitely bring this guy in and attach it nice and straight, nice and flush right there on that corner. Okay, all the way around. I got that last bit just to bring it up here and again making sure these line up nicely there. I'm going to hold that down and then that will fit on the top of our medium box. And that's how those will be held in. And I'll be right back. Okay, guys, so there's that with that little lip on the bottom. Again, I didn't put one on the medium because I don't need it. If you're going to make the large box, then you would add those bits that we did for the medium one. And then we just put it together and they just nestle right in. How cute! I mean, that really looks like those <laughs> beekeeper boxes. How adorable. I have a little glue that still needs to dry there. Um, and then to keep these guys together, or just to help you kind of keep them together, what we're going to do is take this glue tab and I'm putting glue. This is the nice side where the die kind of came in on it. And we're going to nestle it through here. And I just put glue on it already just because that would be easier for me. And so we're going to bring it through here and bring it right to where that score line is, just about. And I'm going to hold that down just so it stays glued there. And I will do the same thing on the opposite side. Just put a little glue on that tab, just, you know, slide it through there from outside or for inside out. And then that's going to hold on to here. How cute is that? Oh my gosh. Okay, I'll so I have the two little uh, straps in there, and again, they can just kind of go in here. <laughs> How cute. And so um, what we'll do next is work on the little top. I mean, that just sit, look at <laughs> It's like holding onto it there. That's so nice. Uh, we have little feet and we have the roof too. So, you know, whatever it is you want to work on next, but we have our uh, roof portions here. Super simple. What we're going to do is just go ahead and uh, score that there. And I'll take a moment to score all these guys. Clearly these fold in so that they kind of stick right in there. And then this little guy goes in. And roughly this stays kind of down like this. I'm just going to kind of train it to go in like that. Something like that. And I'll do the same for this guy. These are the feet. We'll put those to the side for night, right now. And then the two side uh, pieces for the roof. So I will be right back after scoring those. What do with these pieces, just glue them one after the other. So we have glue tabs on like this portion. And so you can just put a little glue on this little guy. So you're going to make like a frame and then we'll pop the 
little pitched roof there on top. So just this one, and this one, then again this guy. Of course the glue tabs up here. And then I'll add this guy back over here. And then when I come around, when I come back, we'll put it together as a frame. I'm just gonna kind of straighten that out a little bit. And when we come back around, we have this little portion, our last tab, and just bring it around. It reminds me of some kind of like Greek temple or something, I don't know. Um, so I'm gonna put these guys up like this because basically we're gonna glue these guys, these tabs, into this, right? So just kind of want to get that going. Let me let that set up before I continue on those. So when I come back we're going to put glue just on these tabs and then just pop this guy on top. Okay. So let's go ahead and get the glue. Actually before I do that let's see just about where this, because see if it's kind of tilted in you know it's going to make a different kind of feel. So what it is is yeah. So these little guys all kind of meet up nicely. Those little divots in there. So and just gonna put some glue again right to the very edge. I have a feeling I'm gonna zhuzh this quite a bit as I'm working with it, so no big deal. And I'm just gonna, I have this laying down. I'm going to pop this in here on one side, as centered as I think centered is. And then we can bring this other piece over. Okay, so I'm looking at it down the middle. I think that looks pretty good from left to right, about the same, and then just butting it into the score line, so that's how I know that it's as far in as it needs to be. That looks good. And then I suppose I can flip it over to finish up the other side just so I have some pressure. So there's that, and then this piece here. Okay, and I'll be right back. Nice. Look how cute. And then we can bring this guy back over, and basically this fits on top of this. Oh my gosh. Super cute basic construction here. And then we have our little feet, which I might add at the end after I put my decorative sides on. But basically it's these things, and all you're going to do is fold everything in, all the tabs. Right? And then these little glue tabs, of course, are going to glue to each other. So that one there, you know, this one to this one and so on. And then we're going to glue them on upside down like this. So that the base, the glue has, it's on there and then they, they glue on like this. So I'll do that with these guys and then in the meantime I'm also going to go ahead and grab our different sides here. So I didn't use the large ones so I'm looking at these guys, the medium and smalls. And we have the little Be Happy which fits into, I want to say, the medium size. So. I definitely am going to use this inlay. So I chose some colors of paper. I was looking for my marigold and I wasn't sure where it is. So I got this yellow. Hi. <laughs> you can see me there. Uh, this beautiful craft perfect. Uh, oh, it is marigold yellow. I don't know why. I thought I, it was a little deeper orange. So I was looking for marigold and here it is. Uh, the classic card. And then I chose harvest gold. Um, Tonic has several different golds and this is like one of my favorite. I just love the color of it. It's so pretty, the, sh um, the tone of this one. So, Harvest Gold. And what I'm going to do is, from our basic papers, I'm going to cut this. So that shape for that one. We also need, um, actually that's for the small, right? Sorry, this inlay. So I'm going to do the Be Happy on one of them. But for the backgrounds, I'm going to cut it out of yellow. So I need that guy. I need this guy. I need this guy. And this one. And all these I'm just going to cut out just the way they are, right? So I need a couple of each because we have the four sides and um, each one does two sides. So yes, I need those. Um, let's see about the roof. What do we have? Um, oh, oh, we can do the bee happy up there too. Or maybe some flowers, or maybe some bees. <laughs> so we'll talk about that later as far as decorating that. But um, I will grab also inlay. So I have the inlay with the Be Happy and I'll pop that in here. And that will be out of the gold paper, okay? So whenever you do inlays, you just kind of put it like this and you tape it down so they do not move. You do not want these to move. And then I'll do some inlays with these other guys, like this little guy uh, for the opposite one, you know, from this. We'll do two with this inlay. We'll do two with this inlay and two with this inlay. 
Okay, and I'll burp. Oh, these are adorable. Look how pretty that is. Uh, let me try to pop out some of these little bits here. And I think the wings, yeah, how cute. So there's an impression in there, and then the little wings can also kind of pop up from the inside out, like if you want to pop those up. <gasps> how adorable, oh my goodness. So a lot of movement in those uh, inlay dies. How cute. So <laughs> okay, I'll I will go ahead and layer these up. Just, you know, whichever piece belongs to whichever uh, base piece. And with these guys, whenever I have a delicate paper, I always put my glue, and then I kind of take some of it off because you don't really want your glue to be too wet because it'll warp your paper, possibly, depending on the glue you're using. So I'm just going to pair them up like that. So all these guys, I have the others uh, on the over here <laughs> on my little cutting surface. I also wanted to cut, and I probably should have done it at the same time, some bees um, just to have them ready. Um, I do like on the cover there how they're showing putting some like on acetate so they look like they're floating, so that'll be really fun. So we want several of these. I'm just going to get the black paper that I used originally, and whatever scraps I have, I'll cut out several of those. And then you have this little body in the background that I think I'll cut out of the yellow paper, but they would also look really amazing cut out of gold or whatever it is you want to use. So that's the little background body for this guy and possibly some of this little layering bit. We'll see. Okay, so I will be right back. Okay, guys, all we're doing is layering those pieces up. So I would just put a little glue on the back here. Something like that. And then pop this guy behind there. And look on the front just to make sure we're pretty straight. And you have your little bee. All right, I'll do a few of those. So I have several bees, um, some background pieces for the bees too, because we're going to do something special with that. And so with this guy, I'm basically just going to bring these over and layer them on. So again, if you want to pop them up, you can definitely do that. I'm probably just going to glue mine straight down. So this one goes here. It does have a space for the next one, which obviously we're not doing that. So um, I'm just leaving it this way. This guy glues here, you know and all the different pieces that go with everything, okay? And I'll just glue them down. I'll be right back. Okay, guys, so I have um, my bees. I have all my pieces down. I did cut some of this little border piece because I think what I'm going to do on this very top part is just add some so it looks like honey or something, uh, kind of in a fun way. So I just cut some different pieces, and maybe I'll cut this little bit off of this one, just so it's a little bit smaller. And I'm just going to kind of quickly add like this piece maybe and this one right to the top and then I'll do the same thing on the other side just as like an opposite kind of look let me bring this one up a little bit didn't quite stick it down yet for that reason kind of place it there so it looks like a little dripping honey or something and I'll do the same thing on the other side just to be a little decorative and fun and then I have, this is literally just some packaging that was a little sturdier that I just kind of trimmed down. So some pieces of acetate or whatever that you like to use. Something not too tall. I don't know. We'll see. We'll play with that in just a minute. I'm going to stick um, a couple of these guys down. Now, I think what I'm going to do is put some glue. Put this little guy in here. And in a way that I can still... Put a little more glue and then put another yellow body. So I cut out two yellow bodies for these guys and I'll put one on the back side so it'll sandwich that together. So in the back you don't really see the acetate part and I'll do that for two bees, okay? I'll be right back. Just, finish that up. Just adding a little something on the top. I think it looks really cute. And what I did is I left this one without being stuck down. So what I'm going to do is stick these little guys I think they're ready, possibly, to that area. So they're real floppy, super cute, and I do have my little sentiment, the be happy on this side, so I'm going to face them in a way that's kind of, you know, coming out this way, and they'll just be there floppy and really cute, I think. So let me see how floppy I want them to be. You know, can't get too crazy. <laughs> let me put that on there if that was here and he's out here somewhere. That looks pretty good. And where's my other guy? Oh, right here. I'll trim that down a little bit too. So I'm just going to stick these guys down with this. So 
bit of glue. Put a little more glue on here. I have that ready. I have these guys kind of facing out this way. Something like that, maybe. Looks good. And then I'm going to pop this on top to sandwich those. Sorry, guys, if I'm way down here. Just putting some glue and putting those down, eyeballing what I'm doing. And I'm going to hold that down and I'll be right back. Okay, so we're just adding our finishing touches. I mean, how cute are those little guys back there? <laughs> so we can put our little lid back on. And then, um, I mean, they're just there having a good little time. How <laughs> cute. And then I just put some dimensionals on the back of these guys. And I would just pop these guys everywhere, like maybe hanging off of here. Really fun and sweet. Another guy there. And obviously you can place them wherever. I've just kind of, you know, place them where they're going to be a little more visible. Maybe just one right here on the side. Why not? And then we have our feet. So again, the feet are glued this way. So I'm going to go ahead and remove that. We could have added these earlier. Um, basically, I'm going to go in the corners. So if you want to put the glue, obviously, on your foot first, you definitely do that. And I'm just going to glue these down on every corner. And that's your little feet if you want to use them. Otherwise, you can just leave it flat. Okay, so I'll be right back. Glue drying here still, but how cute is that? So, um, again, we'll pop this back on on top in a minute, but I just want to give you some measurements. So that is the buzzing beehive. <laughs> Super sweet. It is about two and three-eighths inches wide there at the opening, right? So it pyramids out a little bit by two and almost... I guess two and five eighths wide. Um, at the very base, it's again wider, just about three inches wide, and um, two and a half inches in the other <laughs> direction there. And as far as treats, you can put something that's about one and a half inches tall, but this also has some space on top, so this could be taller, clearly. Then we have the little strap here to <laughs> remove from there. And this guy, that was the smallest one, um, is one and a half inches tall. At the base, the largest is three and like three eighths. Uh, by almost three in the other direction and again I had mentioned that it's about one and a half inches tall so really cute again you have a larger one that I'm assuming is probably the same height the one and a half inches and then just a little bit wider at the base than these other guys and we can pop that back on there how cute is that I love the simplicity of like the colors that I just chose with the black and the yellow kind of yellow orangey and the gold really sweet really adorable great for spring coming up Thanks for watching, guys. Again, you know, there's flowers in here. There's um, a little, if you're going to make a house, you just use the little, um, you have the doors and all that kind of fun stuff. Just quickly mention the little chimney is super easy. It's just a little box that you turn in on itself, right, to make the box shape. And you would put the little chimney on there if you wanted to do that. Oh, there's also another little decoration here for the sides at the very top right in here if you want to pop that in um and yeah i mean it's just super sweet thank you so much tonic for sponsoring this video for sending these items for review i'll have images coming up i'll have the links in the description box and i'll see you all at the next one bye now